Hi, my name is Darren Sanchez from the Orangetown Recreation Department and I run the comic book class on Saturday morning for kids, uh, third grade through sixth grade. And on Tuesday nights we have a class for adults um, 16 and older. Um, welcome to our virtual recreation online class. Um, for the class today we're going to learn to draw a little bit. Um, so the supplies that you'll need are a pencil, uh, a sketch pad, or even notebook paper will work if, uh, if that's all you have. Um, but first a little bit about me. Uh, I've been in the comic book industry for a long time, uh, over 20 years. Um, I've been an editor, a writer, um, graphic designer, um, a publisher. Uh, so one of the things I like to do is teach kids about making comic books. And the class that we do here in Orangetown is a nice opportunity to, uh, to help the kids learn how to make comics, uh, taking that passion that they have from the movies and, and from the comics. Some of them actually read the comics and uh, helping them learn how to make them. Uh, we go over drawing, we go over writing, uh, story structure, uh, what makes a good hero, what makes a villain, conflict, all, all, all the real stuff. And it's, uh, it's a great class, so uh, if you haven't signed up, check the book and uh, check it out. So today we're going to draw, well as you can see we have some, some props out, but we're going to draw Lego Batman. Um, Batman's a big favorite for a lot of people and uh, the Lego Batman version of him is, uh, is, is a lot of fun to draw. So as you can see there are a lot of versions of Batman um, but uh, that's because he's a great character. You can really do a lot with that character as far as age groups. You can, you can make great movies for adults and great cartoons for kids. So first uh, one of the things I teach the kids in class is that Every, every figure that you draw really comes down to basic shapes. So when, when you draw Batman, um, you're, you're kind of just drawing the, a rectangular, like a, a bucket head. And I'm, I don't know if you can hear me when my head's turned, but uh, it's just like a, a nice little rectangle. Kind of tapers there um, towards the bottom. All right, and then you're coming across on the top. I'll try not to make it sloppy, but the board's wobbly a little bit. So that's basically the shape of his bucket head. Um, and you know, Batman also, you can see in both of these examples, um, he has a cowl that covers half of his face. So we can come up and kind of do that. And that'll cover half of his face. So give you a chance to catch up. So. Now I'd like to put on the ears. You can make them pointy, you can make them rounded, you can make them tall, you can make them short. Um, but Lego Batman, they're about this tall and a little bit pointy at the top. Okay, um, now also Batman, one of the things about Batman is that he's ne he never smiles. If, you've drawn, if you're drawing Batman with a smile, uh, you, you're probably drawing him wrong. So even Lego Batman rarely smiles. So we'll give him like an offset kind of a facial expression. And the nose, I know that looks a little weird, but that's really how it goes. Um, and we'll come and draw the eyes. They're kind of, the eyes are kind of uh, squinty uh, to make him look kind of angry like Batman generally does and the hard part is getting them to match from the left to the right okay so then you have the eyes in place um, then we'll come down to the body the body is really just a rectangle well not really a rectangle but uh, it's a very basic shape here. So then you kind of draw this. Now, one of the fun things about Batman is uh, drawing the crest on his chest. Um, I'll do it a little larger so that you can see it. But it kind of does this. 
and on top it has one big swoop and then it comes around and then it has a, a, a second point right there and then it comes down to the middle like that. So if you can just make the other side look like that on a wobbly board That's basically what the crest looks like. Um, some Batman characters have it inside of an oval. This one uh, does not. Um, the one Christian Bale does not. But the old school Lego Batman definitely has it inside an oval. So what we want to do is draw the bat first, because if you draw the oval it might not fit. And believe me, I used to have these little bat symbols all over my notebooks when I was in school. So if you're a kid and you have that, um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It could turn into a career, who knows. So then, then you put the oval nice and tight around the bat. And again, I apologize, but the board's a little wobbly. Um, so now... Batman has a utility belt, so we'll just make it nice and simple. Uh, a square with another square around it, and then one line. So that's basically the torso. Um, you know, once we get this this drawing down, you can actually play with it and figure out ways to make it make it dynamic. Have him running, have him swinging on a rope all that kind of stuff but right now we're just gonna draw him pretty standard so that you can figure out how to draw him. Now as far as the legs very simple legs on a Lego I think that's pretty much what, what the Lego legs would look like and then you could draw the, uh, the divider there and then he has the boot and I believe a Lego also has another hinge that runs right there. Okay, now on the Lego, the hands are kind of shaped like C's. So when we draw the arms, the arms come down and they're attached. They're like a little circle and the, it plugs into the circle and then the C is the hand. So you kind of draw the circle like that then you can see it kind of looks like the uh, the claw from uh, from Toy Story that's that's basically what the Lego hands look like now another one on this side all right now I'm going to just make the mouth a little smaller here. It's kind of bothering me. Same place and everything. Now, the cape is important on Batman. Everything about Batman, when you see, when you see Superman's cape, Superman's cape looks like that on the bottom, um, or it's basically just that. It's just cloth, so it wrinkles like that. Batman's cape is the same as his bat symbol. It kind of does that. So when you draw Batman's cape, you got to keep that in mind, and that's the real difference between his cape and Superman. Even Robin's cape doesn't have that. So that comes down here, and then you go, and then you figure out where it would end up. All right, and then you have. Uh, just kind of draw the fold so you get an idea of where the dark spot should be. In here should be all black. I'll just kind of indicate that here with some, some hatching. Hatching is an inking term in comic books. Um, it's faster than actually coloring it all in and it's also a lot easier on the marker. You won't kill so many markers. But uh, doing that with pencil is, is a nice clean way to shade. Um, now as far as the eyes, 
thing about the eyes is that that's what makes Batman. Now this helmet or this cowl on Batman, it's it's kind of got a shape. So you you got to give it a little bit of a shape like that. And let's see, I'm looking at Batman here. Just you want to try to make it feel kind of three dimensional. So maybe it comes out a little like that. And then the cape will come across like this. And that is essentially a Lego Batman. Um, there's a lot more you can do to it. The nose maybe is a little big, but uh, there's a lot more you can do with the shading and the coloring. Um, but the colors are mainly black, gray, and yellow. Um, I have black, but I don't have gray or yellow, but you can color them any, any way you want. I think I have blue somewhere. Um, let's see, where would the blue be? On, on the old school Batman, blue would be in here. Also, his gloves would be blue. And the cowl is even blue on uh, old school Batman. It's the same dark color as as the rest, but uh, yeah, I feel like the marker's messing it up. But that would be Batman. This part here would be gray, and uh, the belt is yellow. Inside the oval is yellow. I don't have a yellow marker, um, but essentially, that's Batman. Um, that went kind of quick, so let's try another one. Make a little room here. Okay. Now, let's find a nice red marker. What I'd like to do is show you how to draw Spider-Man. Um, a a Spider-Man face is pretty simple. Uh, it's generally a basic. It's a basic face. He starts with the shape of the head. If you could draw that shape, then you could pretty much draw almost any face. All right, you could even give him a neck, give him a little bit of uh, shoulders, so you kind of feel where he's looking. Um, the thing about Spider-Man, the coolest thing about Spider-Man is his eyes, and. Uh, I don't have an example here, but I'll just wing it. Sorry about that squeak. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's pretty close. Um, it's a little thicker, so we'll kind of thicken it a little bit. Symmetry is important, guys. Um, the eyes need to be somewhat uh, similar as far as size and shape and, and direction. Um, so we'll go with that. All right. Now, one thing on Spider-Man is he's got a web right in the center of his face. Now, the, the web, we'll draw it here. Um, essentially, looks like that. Okay, now when you when you do the webbing on it, the webs have to go with the um, with the circle part pointing toward the middle, uh, like this. Okay, if you do it the other way, it, it tends to look like a flower, so you don't you don't want to do that, um, and that's just not right. So basically, the web kind of does that. And if you can just imagine that right on his face, but another thing about it is it's three-dimensional. It wraps around and goes around the back. So you have to kind of think about that as you're drawing. So we'll start with the little circle in the middle. Um, kind of draw the shape of the head in your arch. And then the webs just kind of come around. 
All right, and then we can connect them, like I said, with those. And this was another thing that was all over my notebooks. Um, okay, so there you have Spider-Man. Uh, the body, uh, we probably don't have enough time to get into the body, but the webs continue down his neck, and they kind of they kind of run down his arm too, sort of like that. And then you connect them. Several things. And the Spider-Man icon, you can reference it, but it's essentially uh, this. Something like that. And it's right there in the center of the chest. Um, and that's Batman and Spider-Man. So hopefully you guys can do better than I did. <laughs> I would like to see uh, maybe see some of the stuff that you've done. Um, but uh, there's something else I want to say is that these videos are being posted on the Orange Town Parks and Rec Facebook page. Uh, we would love to hear your feedback um, or even receive pictures of, of the family participating or see you drawing, uh, but participating in the virtual classes. Uh, send any comments or photos that we can use on our social media page to recreation at orangetown.com. Uh, we hope that you and your families are staying home and staying healthy by following the recommendations of our state, county, and local officials as well as the CDC. Uh, these are unprecedented times for all of us. Please remember that each of us plays an important role in keeping all of us safe. Be well and we look forward to seeing all of you very soon. And sign up for comic class. Thanks.